In this video, I'm gonna show you how to level up a t-shirt design on Redbubble. I'm gonna do this all in Canva. I'm gonna show you some of the techniques that I use and hopefully you can learn these to help you get some sales on print on demand. Let's go. Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juna with Detour Shirts. I've been designing and selling t-shirts online since 2005. And my hope with this video is that you will learn some things as I update or level up some of these designs on Canva. And so this is a tutorial on Canva, but this also is gonna be something to help you, those that are struggling with design or maybe new to design, what kinds of things you need to do to make a good design for a t-shirt. So I'm gonna pick a Redbubble shop. Uh, I've DM'd this person on Instagram, so it's okay. And we're gonna see uh, some of the things that they're doing in this shop that are good and then some other things that you can do to level up and make it just a little bit better and help you get some sales. So let's get into Redbubble right now. Let's take a look at this shop and then we're gonna go into Canva and I'll show you some of the different techniques that I would use to make this design just a little bit better and hopefully get more sales. So here we are on Redbubble. This is the shop that I'm talking about. This person has 773 designs, which is great. Um, keep adding those designs. That gives you the best chance of getting some sales. I selected best selling here so you can see their top sellers. And I think they're doing okay. They, they definitely do the tall rectangle, like I say, and they're definitely doing, you know, the big and small uh, text to make it interesting, uh, create some interest. But I think they need to step it up just another level more. So I'm going to show you how to do that. But you can see, I think this is what most people start off with once they know you know, kind of the basics of t-shirt design. They're okay t-shirt designs. Most of them are uh, text designs, which I think is part of the problem. You're gonna have to start adding more graphics now and things like that. Uh, text designs do sell, but uh, you know, uh, it's better to do text and graphics if you can. I'm gonna take one of these. An another thing I would say is put your top designs over here. You know, this doesn't really show like t-shirt design, this shows patterns and you, you don't have a lot of patterns here. So I would take some of your t-shirts and put it up here in the banner, the shop info. I would also categorize it. Like you could probably categorize it in different categories and, and things like that and, um, and put it up here as well because you have so many products. So think of that. And, and another thing is it's very random, right? So now, now that you have so many designs, now you can start niching down and figure out what's selling belt best for you and kind of make those niches. Um, it, it just seems like they're trying so many different um, kinds of, of things here. Um, you know, I don't know where you're getting your design inspiration from, but they all kind of just look, you know, similar. So I would start doing more graphic stuff, more design stuff now that you kind of you get a feel for it this probably took a long time 700 designs right so now that you kind of get the feel for redbubble now it's time to step it up to the next level and, and get more stuff so um, i'm going to show you how to do one i'm going to pick this one right here this fall vibes um, because it's fall and it's 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 a nice design it's a nice start it has the fall colors i'm going to show you how to step it up even more i know this was done in canva i'm pretty sure i've uh, seen this uh, font before so I'm going to go into Canva and show you what I would do in Canva on how to do this uh, and kind of step it up just a little bit better. So here I am on Canva. I knew I saw these uh, fonts before so I, I found them and I did just kind of the same thing that we saw on Redbubble. This right here I kind of recreated it in Canva with the same fonts and the same colors. Uh, so if we go here this is the exact same thing that they're using. Uh, I didn't design this, that's not my shop, but I, I found this, it was really easy to find, right? So that's one of the things that you wanna do when you have a Redbubble shop now, is try to do stuff that people can't find or do better. People know that this took very short to do, um, and so you might wanna do, step it up a little bit. And the next thing you wanna look at is who is this for, right? So fall vibes, definitely people who love the fall. Uh, it's nice that you're representing fall with the fall colors, but it's also and that nurse life. So a nurse is going to be using this t-shirt, 
what kinds of things do they want to see on a t-shirt to make them buy it? What kind of things do they want to see on a t-shirt that makes them want to wear it? And people know that they're a nurse, right? So you got to get into that mindset. What would a nurse want to buy? What would a nurse want to wear if you're going to do this? And before you do all of that, make sure that you're researching uh, what's doing well on the site, right? So um, if you're just going and just copying what other people are doing, uh, I don't know if this is or not, but if you're just copying things that other people are doing, you know, there's going to be a lot of competition. What's better is to come up with your own phrase in that niche, you know, maybe in the fall niche, maybe in the nurse niche, but come up with your own phrase that's totally different so that you have the only thing that's on there and that will help you get some sales. So uh, all of that on the way, let's make pretend that this is you've done your research and this is something that you came up with yourself and you want to make it just a little bit better and stand out. So let me show you what I did. Um, I just did this. This is the same font. This is the same thing. What I did was I found some graphics and these are free graphics. So if I did go, go in here and just typed in fall, you can see I picked the first leaves right here. These are the same leaves. They kind of match the fall colors, right? I'll just put them in here and kind of rotate it and put it here. Um, about nurse, that nurse life. So I just typed in nurse. And I found some things in here. Let's do graphics. You got this band-aid that I put right here. Um, I found some, another one of the stethoscope. I did some things down here with stethoscope. I think I just typed in nurse stethoscope. That's hard to say. And then heart, right? I think I did stethoscope. No, I did heartbeat. Let's see. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah, so you can see this heartbeat right here, and then there was a there's this stethoscope. Maybe I just did stethoscope. Anyway, these are all free images. I typed in free, and you can see here this is a free one right here. So you could totally do this for free. I changed this text because it's smaller text, which is harder to read with all the colors. We already have lots of colors, so I made this one to stand out. Now you could do this also in white. I think that would make it stand out too if we did that. You know, and I underlined it nurse life together and give that emphasis. So now you can see it's a tall rectangle. It's just a little bit better um, than what we had before, which was this one right here and very easy to do in Canva. You still can do it for free in Canva. Now, what about standing out um, for the pro version? Now, so if you have the Canva pro version, there's several other things that you can do to make it stand out. And I did several other things. This one was actually really hard to do because I'm, I was starting from scratch and trying to do something. So let me show you some things that I came up with. So first I did fall vibes. This is on a white t-shirt. I did some of those fall leaves and again using the stethoscope and I did some different different uh, fonts here. Not my favorite, but you could do something like this, which is really different. Here again, same thing, fall vibes and that nurse life. You can see how I'm combining the different graphics in here. So. These all have kind of the same weight or same kind of, um, maybe not the same weight, but they're all doing like that outline design. And this one has a thicker weight, which kind of falls into the fall vibes and nurse life. So you can see, um, kind of want to make it all work together, right? This is a mashup of fall and nurses. Uh, here's another one, cute drawing, not free, not on Canva free, but on Canva Pro. So with Canva Pro, you have lots more options for graphics so you can see this graphics really stand out with this kind of thing and this is on a white t-shirt and I found this here just putting this and these together these two um, made that and my last one here which I'll show you how to do um, is this one fall vibes and this is very popular with the bun and everything and I got the leaves and that nurse life I got the heartbeat I did another one instead of heartbeat I got this um, nurse cap and then to make it work on black, I've used this idea with the spray and I'll show you how to do that. So um, let's do this. Let's just do another ad page here and I'll show you how to do this first. So the first thing I did was do try and find a mom bun or a woman bun. So um, here and with Canva Pro, there's a ton of them. So I'm going to pick this one right here. And first, let's change this to white so you can see what I'm doing. So there it is. This is the same one that this is right here. 
and you notice the other one had glasses so when I go here and I scroll down you'll find the one that has glasses this one right here and they're identi almost identical except for the glasses so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crop one and make it kind of match so here they are same size right and this is one way that you can do it so that you don't have the exact same thing as somebody else is that you can crop this one hit crop and maybe just the glasses right and then do this one so it's cropped and doesn't have the glasses right you see how I'm doing that and you can kind of make it work there I know I will have to zoom in. I'm just gonna copy the one that I have that made it work, but you can see they're the same thing. So that's this one right here where I, I put the two together. I'll put that here. Command C, Command V, copy and paste, right? So the next thing I'm gonna do is color this blue just so we have a background. So you can see how to I do the spray border. I'm gonna type in white spray border. And we have stuff like this. So this comes in black, but I'm gonna make it white. And we're just gonna put this behind. So let me put right click and send it back. And this is a nice way so that if you have a black t-shirt, you can see this, this works on white, but on black, I kinda need something back there. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna turn it, make it bigger, turn it around right here and then kind of copy it and paste it. You know, I'm gonna hold down option and make another one here and kind of turn it and do the same thing for the bottom. So that's how you do that kind of border on here. So let's just do a quick one. Now you can play with it and stuff, but I'm just gonna do a quick fast one here just so it works. All right, and now we can make this black. It's not exact of course, but you can play with it. You can see I, I've played with it. and. And you can try different ones too. So if we have here and go magic recommendations, there's other ones here. There's some, when we go to graphics, there's these here, they're pro versions and other, other quick ones right here. There's the drip ones and things like that. But this is the one I used here. Uh, and you can make them bigger or smaller. So you can see right there. And then I took some of the leaves here. So if I did fall, You know, you have some other leaves right here. You can take this leaf and put it here and so on. And then maybe do some magic recommendations and grab some other leaves and so on, right? Real easy to do. And then the last one right here are these nurses hats. So I, I can type in nurse icons or nurse right there boom oh wrong one let's put it on this one here right and then change that to white boom right you see where i'm going really easy and then the last thing would be the text so this text right here is sergio trendy and sergio trendy and this last one is intro script so the way to make this rounded is Let's type it in here. So we just type in T, boom, um, fall vibes. And let's make this white. And then let's go to effects and do this. And then see how fast it is on Canva? You can do that, right? And again, we're gonna play with the white space behind there, but um, let's copy this white fall vibes and then make this one straight and this is going to be nurse life whoops not nurse live nurse life right and the way to scale these is to grab that corner pull this here now if you need it bigger then grab the corner and go edge to edge All right there hold down option 
you can do that. And then the last one here is and that, and and that is intro script, right? So I'll just type T on here, T and, and that. And that's just to give it some variety, right? Um, I'm gonna do intro script there, and I can make it bold. I don't know if you knew that. You can make some, some of these can go bold. There. And the only thing I need is to, you know, add more leaves here, turn it around, find a different one if I wanted to. And you can see it's pretty similar to this one. I took some time and found the right, right spray paint and kind of put it together. So I'm going to show you this on a shirt next to the other one. And let's see the difference, how it stands out. So here I am on my fake red bubble page. I just made this in Affinity Designer, but you can see here, this is the original Fall Vibes. It's, it stands out because of color, but look at this one. It stands out a lot more, and I hope that more people who love uh, to be nurses would wanna wear this shirt, right? We're thinking about the subject now, instead of just you know putting up words on a shirt, we have to think about who's gonna wear it. Would they wear this shirt, hopefully, this is nice enough for them to wear, right? So this will give you a better chance of making a sale. It doesn't guarantee a sale, but if you're starting to think of a customer of what they would like to wear, so, so use these techniques uh, and use these kinds of things. You don't have to do it exactly like this design. You saw that I had so many different other designs. We're just trying to give it a better chance of getting a sale. We're not only trying to make it stand out, but we're trying to make it something that people want to buy as well, right? If I'm a nurse, maybe this is something I would want to buy. Or if, if I'm someone that loves coffee, would I want to buy this, right? Uh, things like that. So also make sure that there's some kind of design in it. I think it really helps. So. Um, this is on black. You can see we could have done it in white or whatever it is, but lots of different things. So go on here, go on Redbubble, figure out where you would search for your designs, kind of look at the competition and does this stand out over the competition? I think it does for, for this context, for fall vibes and nurse life. I think it does over these things. So um, you're going to have to put it to the test and, and do that. So hopefully this video is really helpful for you. Uh, and use some of those techniques that I show you on there on Canva. You can do it all in Canva. You can, I showed you how to do it Canva free, but you can also do it in Canva Pro, which gives you so many more possibilities. So that is it for this video. Hopefully this video is really helpful for you and you learned some tips and tricks on how to make your designs just a little bit better. If it was helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to this channel already, make sure to hit that subscribe button right there. The question of the day for this video is, which one of those designs that I showed, I showed a lot of designs on Canva, which one were your favorite? Leave that in the comments right here. Thanks again for watching. And if you wanna see more level up tutorials, level up design uh, videos, click on these videos right here. And as always guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.